What's up, everyone? What's happening? Okay, the New York Times just recently put out an article saying, can a white man be the face of the Democratic Party? Uh, what a question to pose. Now, I noticed some some of the news media outlets, at least on social media, has posed the same question, and, and, and I weighed in on this uh, topic a few times uh, through social media with other people, and it seems that they are pretty annoyed that, you know, uh, over a white man being the face of the Democratic Party, they think it shouldn't be because race, gender, sexuality, you know, is the holy trinity of, of the religion of the, the, the liberal lunatics. The self-loathing white liberal just hates their own kind and, at, at every cost and wants to see the destruction of the sister and the straight white male patriotic Christian. And that, that's just how it is. I mean, it's pretty evident. You know, this is according to them. This These are the things they say. You know, I love watching... I love reading and, and listening to them and say crazy things. And it, these are, you know, white liberals uh, talking about white people. And I love to hear the criticism. You know, the fact of the matter is criticism is everyone's worthy of criticism. I don't care what group you're in. I don't care what color you are. I don't care who you go to bed with, what gender you are. None of that matters, what, what your religion is. None of us are above criticism. That's just a fact of life. So whenever I hear criticism, I always listen to, to, to hear if the criticism, if there's any, any uh, uh, you know, any truth to it, if, if, if it's a valid, you know, criticism or not. Uh, oftentimes it's, 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 it's not. It's usually just some um, exaggerated, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, criticism based on you know something that they just blow way out of proportion or just conflation of, of some sort. So that's what they do on the left, and 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 they they pose these questions. But I always sit there and I listen, and I I, I agree only with the fact that they're criticizing, and I'm saying, okay, yeah, you know, that's no big deal. You know, critic, criti you know, everyone's worthy of criticism. And then I'm like, well, let's see you criticize other people and other groups, and and see how that holds up. Like, oh, do black people next? Do black people next? Do Muslims next? Do women or gay people next? And it's like that's when they always freeze up and they're like no they won't dare do that right they only stick to criticizing straight white men who um and christianity that that's really what they what they love going after that that's what they hate so much and it's usually the white liberal that has a problem with that for the most part you expect that to be a problem with other groups but you know uh, uh groups have a problem with other groups it's just you know it, it's just the way it is it's like it, you know it's, it's tribalism is pretty much what it is but you don't expect the tribe to want to eat their own but that's what they do on the left anyway they they eat their own so I'm going to shoot over to the article real quick. I want to show it to you guys. Um, maybe I'll post the link in the description. I don't know if I want to be bothered with all that. I mean, it's a New York Times article. You can pull it up online. You don't need me to, uh, to post the article, to post it, the link. Here's the... Um Here's the, uh, uh, the the article itself in the New York Times. Should a white man be the face of the Democratic Party in 2020? Um, if I can, let's see if I can find that. I just want to move the article around a little bit because then I could uh, show you... Um, let me see what I can do. And I can show you on the cover of it. Let's see the cover. I'm sorry. The cover is Bernie Sanders. This is what they have on the cover. And they have Bernie Sanders because he happens to be in the lead right now. I still have the glitch. I can't get rid of that glitch. But Bernie happens to be in the lead. Um, Joe Biden is expected to announce his can candidacy next week sometime. But at the moment, it's Bernie Sanders. And he's a, an older white man. And they're asking the question, you know, can, you know, they loved him in 2016, by the way. Like, they loved him. I mean, he's a socialist. Uh, in my opinion, he's, he's an outright communist. Uh, and they, they loved him. But now they're looking at him. They're looking at the 37,000... Uh, people, member of the clown show, which is the left running for president, and they see that there's some people there that are um, that, that 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 are not white, and they're like, well, they should be the face because they're not white, and it, you know, it, it's just you know, what type of a question is this? I thought you go for qualifications. I thought you go for um, you know, for who is who is better suited for this type of position? Why are you chalking all this up to um, to skin color and to age and to to to, to gender? Excuse me, but they say they don't do that, right? But they actually do do that. I mean, we witness them do that all the time. So here you have uh, Bernie Sanders, who at one minute they love. It seems like the love for him is stopping now that they found out that he's a member of the one percent, right? They found out that he that he's a millionaire when he 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 shouted, you know, socialism and that and, and and you know the death of capitalism all these years, and it turns out that he's actually one of them. And then his excuse is, oh well, you know, if you wrote a best if you wrote a best selling book, you could be a millionaire too. And this is some of his supporters say, and it's like, well, if you do anything. Well, you could become a millionaire. What do you think the one percent is all? They did something very, really well, and they made a lot of money, and now they're millionaires, just like Bernie Sanders. So, are you saying that only if you write a best-selling book you can become a millionaire? You shouldn't allow to be a millionaire at any other time. You know, what if you are really good? I'm a plumber. What if I was really good? Not only, re you know, I mean, I am pretty good, but what, what if I was really good at marketing myself and getting customers? And doing my own work and I make a lot of money and I start my own company and I become very, very wealthy off of it, off of just being a plumber because I do it very well. 
right? Should, should I, you know, is that allowed or that's not allowed, right? And for some reason, the left, they're a little funny because the way they see it is like, you're allowed to become a millionaire if you're an athlete or if you're a, um, if you're a, uh, a celebrity, uh, maybe you're allowed to become a millionaire, you know, obviously if you're a politician and if you write books, you're allowed to be a millionaire. Uh, and maybe if you're like into construction and stuff like that, if you're into, you know, those type of trades or uh, those, that type of labor, then you're allowed to become very wealthy off of, you know, being a contractor or something like that. But, it, but, but if you wear a suit and tie and you go to work, you shouldn't allow it to become wealthy in the mind of, of the left. If, if you, if you, if you're in the business world and you become wealthy, then you're stealing other people's money. Only the business people, only, only a man in a suit. Only a white man in a suit who's a CEO is stealing everyone's money, right? No one else is stealing anyone's money, you know. And then, then they expect you to, to want it that, that that you should have to share your profits with everyone and you shouldn't be able to keep it for yourself. It's like, well, I don't recall reading about Bernie Sanders sharing his millions with his manager, with his publicist, with the people who helped put the book together. What about the people who made the book? What about the people at the print shop? Uh, what about the people who sold the book at all the bookstores and stuff like that? Did he share his money with any of them? And the question is, you know, the answer is no, he didn't, you know. So he, you know, once again, it's just a contradiction on the left as usual. Uh, and now here they are, you know, should he, you know, should the face of the Democratic Party be a white man? Um, just more intrinsically racist and sexist um, uh, 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 things coming out of the left as, as, as always. They always show themselves for who they truly are. Uh, they're not interested in what your qualifications are. They're only quali They're only interested in what you can represent on the surface level. What they can look at you if if, the, if if they're having you know if there's a room full of people and everyone looks different but thinks the same. That's what they want. Right? They they don't want anyone uh, looking. Uh, uh, they don't want a room full of the same looking people unless unless it's 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 only a few different looks you're allowed to have. Right? And it has to fit within their ideology. If it doesn't, then 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 you know you're not allowed to be there. It's just how it is. Um, you know, the self-loathing white liberal hates his and her own kind. They hate white people. They hate straight white people and they hate straight white men and Christianity. Uh, they, they, they absolutely, uh, 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 loathe it. And, um, they want to see the death of their own kind. And it, it makes no sense at all. But then again, this is the party of people who don't know what gender they are and they don't know what bathroom they're supposed to use. And these are the same people that are running around saying, should a white man be the face of the Democratic Party? It's like, you don't even know what bathroom you should use. And you think you can pose any type of philosophical question. You, you know what I mean? It's just, it's sickening uh, uh, to watch and to, to have to read and listen to anything coming out of their mouth. Now, I don't, I don't want to, you know, this is me criticizing them and I don't want to be too... Um, I don't want to uh, 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 say that this is the entire Democratic Party and all of the liberals because that wouldn't be – of course, it's not every single person. You know, Obviously, Bernie Sanders don't feel that way because he is the leader You know, in some ways of the Democratic Party. But don't worry. In another statement, he'll say something as silly you know, as uh, – you know, uh, about white people shutting up. Like, like Hillary Clinton said, you know, uh, white people need to shut up and listen to black people, something like that. While she's there doing all the talking, by the way, while she's being a white person doing all the talking and leading the party. So it's like, you know, the hypocrisy is just, it's just amazing with the left and, and, and the nonsense that they say uh, um, and the position that they hold that you, you, it's just not very tenable at all. You, you really can't possibly uh, stand up and, 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 and defend any their any of their positions it, it's just it's so wacky that that I, I can't even believe people like this still exist uh, but you know of course it's not every single person on the left it's not all of them it is the the progressives the the far out but they're the ones with the loudest voices and and at this point they're starting to drown out the middle of the road Democrats so now like we have no choice but then again I mean you know they yell that all um you know all uh, people of the right are white supremacists and Nazis and, and stuff like that. Uh, they don't bother to say, well, there are some Republicans that don't believe this and don't believe that. No, to them, all of us are white supremacists, no matter what. Uh, I've even seen them say, you know, that white people are inherently racist. They're inherently white supremacist. And um, even if they're one of our allies, all they're doing is checking their privilege and trying to, you know, like self-meditate somehow, uh, self-medicate somehow to uh, uh, not be racist and not be inherently a white supremacist. It's, it, it's just very esoteric and draconian rules over there on the left of, of, of how things work and what you're supposed to do. Um, <coughs> I'm just glad, excuse me, I'm just glad I'm not on that side anymore. I don't know what I'll do with myself. Uh, I can imagine the suicide rate must be really, really, really high 
uh, uh, towards uh, left-leaning people opposed to people on the right. Because it's just total insanity, some of the things that come out of their mouth uh, most of the times. Anyway, uh, please like, comment, share, hit the bell, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.